We're here at the new Gateway Center Mall where Home Depot is having its grand opening. It is the first store to kick off a series of chain stores that will be in this location. Many others tried and failed to redevelop the site, but after 30 years of inertia and false starts, I am happy to say we finally made it happen. Built in 1920, the Bronx Terminal Market was one of the largest Hispanic food wholesale operations in the country. Today, it is the largest retail development in New York City. The economy is starting to work. And you know what? It's so proud because here we are, another depot, another 200 employees. It's such a positive thing for the borough of the Bronx. I think part of our core values also is understanding what our people are looking for, and we respond to that rather quickly. So we're looking to build great relationships with the Bronx. Mayor Bloomberg joined Home Depot and related companies to open the first store of the $500 million retail complex. We couldn't be more excited to welcome Home Depot to the South Bronx. Uh, we know they'll be a great neighbor because the company is famous for giving back to the community, especially through its Team uh, Depot volunteer program. And that kind of corporate citizenship is especially important during these tough times. Along with many other elected officials, community members and workers, our newly elected borough president, Ruben Diaz Jr., also joined in supporting the store's opening that adds over 200 new jobs along with $20 million in annual tax revenue for our city. I remember back when this borough was in ruins. And it's not bad that right down from a new Yankee Stadium that we have uh, new economic development here. And with roughly 1 million square feet and over 2,600 parking spaces, the city says that this mall is a big boost to new job openings as well as the South Bronx. For BronxNet, I'm Barati Kamraj.